progress of this pipe in the system in general. Welcome guys to uh, Six Sips. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, today uh, we have a special guest, uh, David Martinez. He is uh, the president and CEO of Sonic. And I wanted to bring him in to start discussing um, really how our company started. Um, kind of give you guys the down low uh, because this leads into our past videos talking about obstructions because that's what we started doing or what David started doing. And so that's what this video is about. Um, we also want you guys to get to know, um, you know, the head of Sonic, <laughs> uh, who's been doing this since 2004, uh, really know our story um, from his perspective, uh, the time, the blood, the sweat, the tears. And so uh, with further ado, this is David Martinez. Um, and so David, would you just share with us um, and uh, people watching this, how do you, how did you start this company? How did you, how, why Sonic Inspection? What was the idea behind Sonic? I mean, everybody who hears about this is like, who the heck thought of that? <laughs> well, it's a really good question, and uh, I wish I can take uh, all the credit, but uh, there are so many people that have been involved with um, Sonic Inspection from day one. But, uh, um, it's hard to name them all, but there are a lot. This is not, this is not me. I stand on the uh, shoulders of a lot of really, really great people and have helped us get here. But uh, so how did it all start? Um, working uh, back in 2004, I had an opportunity across my lap. Uh, I had a, a information technology company back then and I had an individual that I hired to do some work for me. Uh, we were gonna put together some uh, software that would uh, track some uh, liquids that went through piping into an accounting system. And uh, so I had a professional uh, company back then and, we offer professional services in IT. Well, this opportunity sounded kind of interesting. It came across my lap through this individual, and um, I looked into it. And uh, this individual said, "Look, I, I can I can probably help you in a couple areas, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy the company. You can you can buy it if you want to start it, but I'm not putting money into it." I said, well, no, no, no. Okay, here we go. So I looked into it and it had to do with corrosion. Uh, my dad was a corrosion analyst for Shell Oil uh, for probably 35 years, so he, uh, I heard a lot about corrosion my entire life. Um, so I thought, well, this is this is kind of interesting. Yeah. yeah. You know, this is pretty pretty interesting. I've always wanted to try something different. So I looked into it deeper and deeper. Next thing I know, in 2000, December 2004, I was uh, applying for my uh, federal ID number and. Uh, Kicked it off in the state of Colorado on December 7, 2004. So from that point on, uh, started working really hard, uh, having the uh, electronics rebuilt, uh, having the software uh, built. Uh, in the first quarter of 2005, we took it to um, a show in Colorado, uh, basically a half-baked product. We weren't selling product, we were selling those services, uh, but we had a lot of interested parties from yeah. all over the place, right? Yeah. Um, uh, but, but really, that was about it. They were all kicking tires. And I thought, this is going to be a long, long game here. So uh, ended up leaving that. And in the meantime, uh, this guy that I was working with was still trying to you know, get the code where it worked pretty well. And in the meantime, I'm trying to do sales. And, you know, who do you go to? You, know, you go to contractors and they go, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't want your, your, your technology, I don't think it works, and get out of here. And then you go to the end users and they go, well, listen, we have fire contractors, so go talk to them. So it was a, it was a vicious cycle. <laughs> it's so, really crazy. Yeah. What, like, what was the, I mean, obviously, like, the fire contractors were like, whoa, and end users were like, oh my gosh, no, just go talk to them. Why, why do you think that was? I, Obviously, it's a new technology, but like... I think from the contractor standpoint, it was hard to break into a new industry. People, I, went, I wasn't one of the guys. You know, I, wasn't, I didn't fit in. I was a, a, an IT guy coming into a new industry. Uh, it's not like I, I worked my way up in the industry and broke off and started doing some kind of fire protection services. This is a new, new cat in our, in our playground, and we don't like this guy. Uh, although that was never stated to me, I just never really got a lot of warm and fuzzy feelings. And, and I was like scrambling, right? What do I do? I got to generate money, I got kids I got to feed, I got a house, I got this and that. And anyway, um, so, you know, it's really funny you bring that up because back in 2005, it's like, what am I going to do? And there was a guy on, 
on the syndicated show called the Tom Martino show, it's a troubleshooting show, right? And he's like, hey, well, who has a great idea? Who has a great idea? And I'm driving this little Taurus, I had 200,000 miles on it, and it was barely driving, but it was getting me where I wanted to go, right? And uh, uh, so I parked in front of a, a Starbucks on a Friday because he had this show every Friday. And I called in, but before I called in, I, I went to Starbucks, grabbed a coffee, came out in my little Taurus, thinking, okay, what am I going to say? I finally got on, right? And he said, so what's your idea? And I told him my idea. He gave me about 90 seconds. That's a lot of great questions. And uh, it, it was okay. It was fine. It's like, oh, okay, did that. Uh, two weeks later, I got a call from a gentleman or a group uh, out of Texas that worked for a company that was supporting uh, an applied materials in California for um, kind of like a, a facility management company. And he actually said to me, he said, hey, we heard your syndicated, uh, we heard the syndicated show on what you do, and what you do is supports, I mean, if all the facts that you say this will do, if it's true, we're going to write you an open PO, we want you to fly out to California and do a project for us, because we've had nothing but problems with our fire protection system, and no one's got answers. We've gone from carbon to, uh, we've gone to galvanize, we've gone to stainless steel, and this is still causing problems in the same measures. So, grabbed my stuff and went out there and um, found out that uh, uh, at the apex of their building, it was completely filled with air. So the technology would pick up air, which is yeah. very cool, right, in the wet system. So we, I mapped out this whole thing for these guys, and um, um, the guy that was with me at the time was actually running all the reports and things like that, so he was really good at that. But we, we mapped out this whole thing and gave them a report and uh, they're like, wow, we never, we never really knew this. So I think they went in there and uh, we didn't do it, but I think they put in all air release valves to get all the air out. This was back in 2005, right? Yeah. And uh, they were super happy. We got more and more business from them. So.